On second down, Rawls. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Wilson now to throw on third down. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Carl Davis able to drop him for a loss of two, and that'll bring up fourth down. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. It led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Short kick here. Fielded about the 17. And we move our focus to Thomas Rawls. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. now as I search for my cue card here there we go coming up at halftime Larry Ridley will join us from Orlando he'll have highlights and analysis from our first half of play well read oh, thank you on third down Wilson and all oh, this is taking him one handed what a catch it's a gain of 20 and picking up the first really really did we just see that that's a big catch, one-handed, I might add, to pick up a first down. I was going to say, on third down for the defense, it's one thing to give up a reception. You just kind of shake your head on a one-handed catch to pick up the first. On first down, Wilson. 
And he's got his man on the comebacker. And down inside the 15 he goes. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert, get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in a second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time left. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Fairly short kick, taken at the 14 here. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Tough running there. That's a hard earn four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. Looking to throw on second down. Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And the Seahawks on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and six. Now Wilson operating from the gun, and they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. 